Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. I don't know how the audio is going to turn out on this because there was another OBS update, and that certainly messed with uh, output settings to Twitch. I don't know what it's doing for recording, however, so it might you might end up with a massive sound effect. Well, I don't want to click away because I don't want it to go dark screen, but it's going to go dark screen a second here. I think I need to turn the background volume up just a tad. So, well, that's too much right there. Hopefully right there you can actually hear stuff in the background. But anyway, <clears throat> now it's going black screen again. Point being, whenever there's an OBS update, there's always some fidgeting that has to be done. It's very frustrating all the way around. Anyway, top right hand corner we've got Snow starting as the Brown Protoss. Bottom left hand corner we have JYJ starting as the Teal Terran. This is going to be on Polypoid. It is going to be an ASL preview. And this is from the latter, I think about a week or two ago. I will try to do the replays as I can find them or get them. Unfortunately, pro players tend to be very, very close fists uh, about replays, so finding them out in the open to actually cast can be somewhat challenging. If I knew what some pro gamer names were off the ladder, I would be able to cast more. Unfortunately, I don't. I actually wanted to cast uh, Artos versus Snow, but I understand why he didn't want to have me cast that game. But here we've got arguably the best Terran versus arguably the best Protoss. Looks like we're going to have a... This is... A degree of a setup I'm going to assume to one racks into expansion we've got a barracks on the low ground currently upper right hand corner we do have the gateway first looks like we did have the assimilator plop down behind this so we're not going to see a quick expansion build most protoss these days are in fact opening up gateway into zealot to try to punish a lot of the things that Terran can do early and just safely what that but that, that what that has shifted in the meta is, is that's allowed Terran to get almost a guaranteed fast scout into their opponent's base and it's I think it's a challenging time all the way around and JYJ may be already up to sh some shenanigans because he's so well never mind this is on polyboard for some reason my brain thought this was Eclipse for a half second just checking out that bottom right hand base one thing with JYJ is you do have to keep an eye on him because his ability to innovate and shift build orders on the fly is incredible he's just got all sorts of stuff under his belt this time gonna see the fast economic opener skipping the initial marine actually no no Zealot first here, a bit of a risk. Cybernetic score being warped in instead, and an additional pylon in the base for Snow. So Snow may be trying to get away with not going Zealot first. It's going to put him in a little bit more of a challenging position to punish, especially at cross spawn, the early command center expansion. We'll see once he gets his own scouting information out. Look, that SCV now making its way up. Might be able to disguise. Oh, look at this. As I was going to say, disguise range. Faking range right here by going plus one weapons, which most assuredly means he wants to go for a quick Reaver play. Maybe even potential High Templar, or sorry, Dark Templar. I'd be a little bit shocked to see that overall. Canceling it regardless in the face, and maybe because he realized he wasn't gonna be able to hide that Nexus. But getting the resources back to go ahead and hide that Nexus has done pretty good damage to that SCV, and it's gonna go ahead and exit out. Command Center, not that far from finishing, and that third Marine's gonna be out well before anything's on the front to even get a semblance of scouting information right here. So the three Marines are definitely sufficient to take down the probe, but also sufficient to push back a Dragoon in the early stages. Now we'll have to see what Snow's up to with all of that gas to follow up. He's got a Dragoon checking up top, top left. Let's see if this probe gets immediately annihilated by this Marine force, or if it's able to get some... So scouts the three Marines, is exiting toward the north. Now might want to join up with the Dragoon, because the Dragoon plus the Probe might be enough of a threat to at least get somewhat some information, but right now this is a very difficult situation for Snow. SV making its way back out from JYJ, because the Dragoon, yeah, getting a couple shots, sees that fourth Marine being created, getting it just sneaking in, but I don't know that he's confirmed that command center or not. I think he's just going to presume that that command center is there for the time being. We do have double factory follow-up. That's the one problem playing against JYJ is you can never be certain. Actually, I guess I could have done the vision here, but maybe you got an edge of something. It's definitely putting Snow in an uncomfortable position. He's gonna go robotics facility first. He is getting ranged to follow things up. That SCV wants to continue to scout. Gets wiped out, maybe touched a mineral field before it was able to, but able to confirm that there was no second gas at the very least to see any sort of insane tech push machine shop being plopped down by jwj it looks like he's just playing at standard thus far 
just getting that siege tank out, getting vulture speed as well, has his four marines in the bunker defensively. Snow looks like he wants to maybe, so he's got a second gateway warping in, but he's already positioning the dragoons somewhat forward and is setting up a wall to maybe once he has that observatory out and those dragoons on the field to try to go for an extremely fast third nexus. And the, if he does so, JYJ might have an opportunity with some vultures to deny that. Looks like he is getting the mine research and he's gonna have those double machine shops to follow up to fill in a lot of siege tanks, but this could turn into a push as well because this has all, all the makings outside of it. And it looks like it's just gonna be three Marines. One Marine left in the bunker potentially is a calculation and a single SCV moving out. And the three seat, this is interesting. JYJ, so splitting off three Marines and a siege tank moving to the north, the vultures are gonna be able to catch up with their speed and we're gonna see continuous vulture production. So this is somewhat like an FD, but not precisely. And it's happening across that third nexus. And it might be very, very successful because the siege tank and three Marines account for the two Dragoons. And these two, these two Dragoons are out of position. They might pull out of position to try to defend that third and allow those vultures to get the natural expansion. But now, looks like that Vulture play was a little bit too fast. Snow has to play this very, very carefully. But it looks like JYJ not going to risk it from here upon having those Vultures spotted. I think he was hoping to maybe draw the Dragoons to the left here towards that third and then sneak the Vultures and get a couple free pro kills and then back the Marines and that Siege tank back out. Third gateway dropping. Observer out on the front as well as the Marines tucking themselves back in that bunker good mine coverage as well. JYJ already mining out that three o'clock location to go ahead and prevent a quick fourth potentially. JYJ still sticking at the two factory county is adding some siege tanks in. It's gonna have plus one weapon started not too long from now but it looks like he is starting to play he's planning on playing for the long haul. So it has a good amount of, mount, uh, of mine control but he hasn't tacked on additional factories at this stage. He is getting that academy up. All signs point, it's not an automatic commit because it could shift at any moment here. But right now it's looking like he wants to just play things up, maybe go for 3-2 over the long run. At least that's what I'm seeing thus far. And do a little bit of harassment in between, able to pick off one probe right there, shoving some more vultures in, getting a good amount of probe kills. Although still, I think a negative trade overall. Snow still well behind in the overall worker count. Another mine being planted top left and I take it back. Yeah, we're going to see some shenanigans. We have a star. I missed this. Star part, bottom right, with a dropship being constructed. We'll see if the vultures sneak out there. So right now, JYJ showing. So with the factory count at three, and I'm wondering if he was wondering uh, if he thought an observer had snuck in already. But the, the observer is going to go ahead and wander up. It's going to see all of these siege tanks, and everything looks like JYJ is going ahead and establishing a third and going for the 3-2 overall play. However, bottom right, we've got a nice little deposit where the vultures can go ahead and sneak across and get some damage done. Now the question is, is will he be able to get vultures linked up with these dropships? Ooh, a wraith being produced as well. Because there's a lot of brown between mid-map and this location and a lot of observers as well. So the vultures have to be a little bit crafty as far as their mo- and it looks like they are going to be able to cycle down. I wonder if that observer saw them and is wondering potentially what JYJ is up to. All the rest of the bases blocked out. It looks like the three clock base now starting to mine. So that might be a forward warning. And we see a science facility being built bottom right as well. This is a little bit nuts from JYJ. So we got a wraith out. We've got some dropships out. The wraith not joining the dropship, however. It's returning back to home base, maybe to provide Maybe assuming that Snow was going to go more Reaver play or provide some defense against that. Single Vulture dropped to take care of that probe. That's going to give forewarning towards that natural expansion, although Snow a little bit slow to react here. To get defenses back in that corner. So it looks like there are going to be some kills and a single Vulture being dropped, or two Vultures now being dropped in the main as well. And Dragoon's completely out of position. Some High Templar here and JYJ getting a lot of kills. A very delayed response. Probes finally responding and defending themselves, and Archon being forced to morph. That was a lot of gas that was forced right there. A can uh, cannon being morphed as well, and Snow's probe count just getting annihilated there with nice little drop overall. Anyway, we got four factories up. Academy, up, comsat, prepared. 
third base is up and running. But a really strong economic... Usually you'll see Protoss... So here's the thing. Usually when you see the three base style of play... Like this, and the, the movement towards 3-2, although I only single, uh, see a single armory here. I don't see a second armory. There it is. We do, in fact, see a, a movement towards 3-2 off the three bases. Usually what you'll see is Terran play more passively and just try to mitigate losses at all costs. And Protoss trying to slow the Terran down. Instead, JYJ flipping the script, being aggressive, and really cutting into Snow's worker count, which is just absolutely fantastic. I have to say, and really, he's 20 supply ahead, which is an incredible position for Terran to be at the 10 minute mark here. Snow still sitting on four bases, has some Archons, has some High Templar and Shuttles, but has not been able to utilize them yet to lower that worker count to get anything accomplished. And these Vultures continuing to be vicious, getting some additional probe kills at the third. And JYJ can afford this, honestly, because, whoa, a good amount of siege tanks out. Healthy Siege Tank count is going to hit 2-1. Honestly, with the where he's at in supply, might be able to move out with the 2-1. And at which point these High Templar become just defensive. I was expecting them to start moving around for a drop. Another drop moving in. We do have a cannon in the main this time. So might not get as much damage along the probe line. But at least able to get two. And yeah, JYJ just not hesitating to continue with the aggression. Snow is usually Protoss wants to have a fantastic worker count at this stage, but it's just been halted consistently. Some zealots getting caught midfield. Or maybe that would be the vultures getting caught midfield. A couple mines being dropped, more vultures moving in. And again, at that third, getting some additional hits. SV moving up, it looks like that was gonna get wiped out overall, but we Shortly, we've got, it looks like a fourth command center constructed already. JYJ starting to move out. Gonna push Snow's army back and JYJ still in a good position. More Dragoons starting to push up. Tanks are not yet sieged, however, as Snow able to walk up, get some good Psy Storms. Hitting the Ford siege tanks and the Zealots able to march in as well. So JYJ getting caught a little bit out of position on that move out. So he's gonna have to draw that command center back. Archon be morphed, that's going to be sacrificed on the retreat, but Snow at least able to finally getting some sort of win, able to sneak up and deny the fourth at the nine o'clock position and that third gas. That is one thing on Polypoid is since this is a mineral only rather than a gas, it's a little harder to just do the straight push economically. It's a little bit more all-in-ish to just do the 2-1 or 3-2 push off three bases. You can still do it, but going for the fourth base a little bit more in vogue. Vulture's trying to get up and sneak that probe out at the 12 o'clock location. That base is mining. We have nothing in that dropship, but that dropship can be used for scouting down the line. Meantime, JYJ starting to recap surface area, thinking about making another motion, this time potentially waiting. Yeah, now he's got plus two weapons, plus one armor. We have just plus one weapons up for snow, but that's going to be a big beefy mech army pressing in the Dragoons getting pretty heavily hit. The Zealots trying to buy some time. High Templar moving up as well. Want to just try to peel off some free units as best he can. Try to get best value here. Dragoons cutting off some Vultures in between. Psystorm only catching a single Siege Tank. And look at that. JYJ just sacrificing a single Siege Tank to expend some Psystorm right there. I think that was calculated overall. But this is still delaying a lot of time out of that 9 o'clock base. 12 o'clock is just getting established some vultures able to sneak up that back end two cannons not online as of yet a third cannon being dropped and they're going to be able to take out that cannons and probably that probe however still some trouble here at the nine o'clock making the way in it looks like snow has reinforced he wants to try to deny this at all costs but jyj now making the move high templar redropping more size storm on the front looks like only two siege tanks getting caught by that size storm but it's still sufficient and the command center is still floating forward. So JYJ waiting. Yeah, now the, the Vulture is able to go up, pick off that High Templar. No Psy Storm remaining. He might have left that command center there a little bit too long, however, because it's taking a massive beating, an absolute massive beating. And he not, needs to float it out, trying to draw the Dragoons to the south and loses the command center at the nine o'clock. That's a loss. 
But at least that Vulture has been able to prevent mining at the 12 o'clock location. With that, Vulture's starting to stream out. GYJ is saying, okay, you know what? Well, I've got a weapons upgrade. I think I'm doing okay on supply. Forget it. Let's go ahead and just start knocking down some Protoss bases and force some units out on the field. More High Templar are there. It looks like these Vultures getting caught a little bit in the map, still getting their mines planted, picking off some High Templars, so decent trades. So JYJ not lo not losing in these exchanges overall. The Dragoons swarming these siege tanks right now, and there's no Vulture support, and there's great size storms over the siege tank lines. So, and that's the, this is where you win as Protoss, is if you can pick those siege tanks off, reset that siege tank count back to zero, and right now, these are some heavily damaged siege tanks. It looks like they're going to try to strike at the 3 o'clock location. Some Dragoons moving across. The Vultures looking for a reinforcement point. 12 o'clock base is now mining. It looks like another base being grabbed upper left by snow. However, JYJ able to create a little bit of a line here and able to go and siege this 3 o'clock location. It looks like he's going to get a lot of probes trapped and wiped out with this. So small victory. Some Zealot... Ooh, big Zealot bomb. And some additional siege tanks getting cleaned up. And JYJ's siege tank count now looking somewhat small, but he's deep in Snow's territory. More size storm and Snow keeping the pressure up. Some beautiful size storms and Zealots able to clear out what is left. And even though, so it looks like that Nexus actually, I think these vultures might just get cleaned up. It would be fantastic if they can take that Nexus out. Dragoon trying to sacrifice itself. Yeah, I think Snow just trying to push in clear as many mines as possible. Vulture's trying to create some distraction, so at least he gets the Nexus out of it, but it just takes so long out of there. A High Templar doing a mine drag. That's not something you usually see. JYJ taking what few siege tanks he has and actually pushing up. It looks like he wants to take another shot at the 12 o'clock location with some Vultures dropping some mines in between that Nexus. Oh, this is going to be close at the 3 o'clock. We got two Vultures left. It is at 52 health and dropping, it looks like it is going to hold. And it looks like that attack force that was starting to reinforce those two siege tanks to the 12 o'clock have been spotted. That Nexus had taken a pounding from that previous vulture, so that's getting wiped out as well. So now Snow really has to stay, even though he's wiped out these siege tank counts, he needs to be very, very defensive because look out, the vultures might get it this time. 12 o'clock base is gone. And keep in mind that 3 o'clock base is still very, very fragile. That's allowing that 9 o'clock base to get established. Snow still has a strong economy overall. He does have the supply lead at this stage. And it looks like he's going to be able to just walk right back up to 3 o'clock. And usually I would say the siege tanks are gone for a Terran. And that is going to be a game-shifting maneuver, but not for JYJ. Instead, able to take out two Nexus and establish the 9 o'clock base underneath all of this and does he now the question does it does he have enough siege tanks to defend himself he's only got the two machine shops up it's still running on eight factories overall go ahead and take a look at the opposite side base we got a healthy healthy gateway count two forges to go ahead and push those upgrades at plus two weapons currently although looks like one of them has remained silent for most of this time we haven't seen any movement towards templar tech so it looks like it is still going to be some form of gateway high templar shuttle man Upper left hand base is Snow's to take at this stage. He doesn't have a really good gateway count at any additional location, so currently just playing it for split map. And right now, Snow a little bit up in supply, but not really pressing, and that's allowing that siege tank count to regrow to allow JYJ to maybe grab and hold the territories. He has hit plus three weapons, plus two armor overall. And he's grabbing bottom right. This might be a mistake right here, because JYJ does not have a lot of siege tanks. He's going to have to continuously be aggressive like he was previously and allow his aggression to be his defense, being 22 supply down here. Else, this is what's going to happen. He's just not going to be able to defend all the territory he's got. So right now, a single zealot whatnot pushing through. JYJ is pushing forward a little bit of an empty size storm right there. High Templar getting picked off as well. The shuttle... Moving up, the shuttle critical for keeping those High Templar protected against the Vultures. It's actually kind of weird at this stage. The High Templar are there to kind of size storm away and soften up the... Soften up the Siege Shanks and Vulture lines and, and clear that out. And it's kind of like the Vultures are, te are technically countered by High Templar, but <laughs> High Templar are definitely countered by Vultures without protection. That earlier 
manufacturing base being discovered and wiped out. But yeah, JYJ continuing to move mid-map to have an aggressive presence so that Snow simply isn't able to engage at that 9 o'clock or main. That is preventing that bottom right-hand corner from being grabbed. But this is also putting it, so you got the main that's basically mined out. You've got the natural expansion mined out. The mineral only has been mining for quite some time, but you've got one base left. So one and a half bases left and a beautiful engagement in the middle by Snow. Beautiful side storm drops underneath what was very, a small attack force. I was expecting this to be an attack force that was just kind of poking at the rim, not going for that meaty siege tank core. Instead, able to wipe out some siege tanks along the interior. But in the meantime, Snow, he's peeled some probes off his main to keep that active. He's left some probes at his natural expansion to keep that working as well, but is basically on three base otherwise. So theoretically has an economic lead to work with. This is 3-2 mech though. Only four siege tanks out here, a good amount of vultures around. Two siege tanks have peeled off to start attacking that upper left. So JYJ trying to be in multiple locations at once to force Snow to respond to him. Once again, Going to move into that 3 o'clock, so trying to attack two locations at once. It looks like that attack force upper left is being taken care of. The zealots that were bottom right marching up to maybe go for a two-pronged attack. And some additional zealots being dropped off with some size storm to clear those siege tanks out at the 3 o'clock. But Snow, if he can hold on, he's in an okay economic position, but he's got to get... He's got to hold what he's got. And JYJ is definitely making that extremely difficult. The probe's continuing to be assailed. The cannon down... Vulture's now clearing out that 3 o'clock, and this was a key mining location for snow overall. And more Vultures also streaming out. So this is interesting, because usually you'll see the opposite from Protoss Terran play. You'll see the Protoss testing the edges and the Terran trying to defend everywhere. And right now, Snow is having trouble defending against JYJ, who's pressuring the upper left and that 3 o'clock location. He's got the mines in between to cut off reinforcements and some vultures there at the 3 o'clock. Mines being a big problem there. Looks like the siege tanks are going to get wiped out here top left. One problem for JYJ is he keep by doing this, he keeps expending a lot of these really time-intensive siege tank groupings. But thus far, it's been successful. He's kept the, the unit count somewhat low. But at the same time, he hasn't really hit critical mass. Right now, trying to test Snow's mine discipline, dropping a lot of mines in between. It looks like the Observer starting to sweep out, and Vultures have managed to find daylight top left. And this is as a probe is making its way top left. Only a Zealot there to defend. The probe's trying to evacuate, but they're a ways away from any sort of defense. And with this, okay, so JYJ is ahead in the overall worker count, but keep in mind, he's mining off fewer bases. More Psy Storm to try to clear out those vultures, but without them being pinned to defend anything, it's really not working out for him. And the mines, yeah, behind, creating a lot of trouble. Snow, that's one thing with the shuttle styles, because you have to constantly create those shuttles, it does make it a little bit more challenging to have sufficient observers with your attack force to lead and, and clear all of the potential mine fields that are out there. The probes m marching right back out to try to get some saturation again, but JYJ doing a fantastic job, has actually gotten the supply lead overall. Despite only functioning on a single base at this stage, he's mined out at the mineral only, so only mining at the 9 o'clock currently. So with only mining at the 9 o'clock, he's actually evened up the supply count overall, despite Snow mining across multiple bases, simply because Snow's had to constantly deal with the attacks at all ends. About five or six siege tanks moving up along that left-hand alley. Snow with a sufficient... Ooh, accidentally side storming his own observers, but pressing forward otherwise. The shuttle under heavy fire from that Goliath. So Abel being forced to unload the cargo a little bit early. The Zelts drawing the attack force over to the right where some nice side storm waiting for it. That should clear out a good amount of those vultures. And the siege tanks a ways away from the rest of this attack force as well, but Snow really hasn't had, I mean, honestly, it's been JYJ attacking on Snow rather than Snow attacking on JYJ. This is the first time I'm seeing a cohesive attack force coming from two angles on one of JYJ's army. And that is making it a beautiful engagement for Snow, pinning those siege tanks before their siege. And it looks like he's gonna be able to get the rest of this army. And with that, honestly, that might have been the final overextension from JYJ as he's now down 
20 supply. Snow is continuously mined. Two siege tanks, and as I say that, two siege tanks are setting up again to try to deny that upper left. More mines blockading the siege tanks away from the Dragoons. That at least getting cleared out. And so it looks like he is going to be able to wipe out that Nexus top left. And it, in the meantime, Snow trying to expand at the natural bottom right. Some Zealots mine clearing physically. I'm just going to step on the mines the good old fashioned way. Walk out into that field, soldier. And see what you find. More vultures moving out. And JYJ has done a lot of this, honestly, basically on practically vultures alone. Incredible. And once again, has the supply lead. Furious back and forth and has had pretty decent trades overall. So honestly, usually I would say the lack of siege tanks was a big crippling thing for Terran. But JOAJ making it look like it's just no big deal. No big deal. I'm just going to send another grouping of vultures out to completely pin down snow at all locations and cripple his economy. Sheesh, what a player. So 9 o'clock is starting to... This is one problem for JYJ, though. He has made no motions. Okay, finally lifting off that command center and going to move it out to the 6 o'clock. Two cannons there to briefly defend. Looks like High Templar getting picked off as soon as it drops. Couldn't even get a side storm off. Some mines being planted on the high ground. I don't know how long that's going to last. That bottom right should be an easy grab for snow overall. That starport still burning in the air. But JYJ now running into the problem where he just... This could be his last few units as he's running short on resources. The 6 o'clock is going to get spotted by that observer. I presume Snow is not going to let that 6 o'clock base get taken at... I mean, this was a lot of trouble off just a few bases that JYJ had. I don't think he wants to let him have any sort of additional economic poke. High Templar diving that direction with a shuttle. Vultures moving all the way up into the natural briefly. I think they wanted to check whether that mineral only was expended or not. So 12 o'clock base still mining. And healthily, 3 o'clock base still mining for snow, although no gas right there. Big swarm here at the 6 o'clock base, denying that command center. Some vultures, I don't think these guys have mines among... Okay, a few mines there are going to try to deny that mineral only, but bottom right also mining, although not the best saturation overall. SCV's also getting caught here at the 6 o'clock, although that might just be supply emptying for JYJ at this stage. Command center also going to explode in the air. So JYJ with... Potentially a final push here. Bottom right. He's only got four siege tanks with this. It looks like the reinforcement's being cut off. He really wants to deny this base bottom right to snow. Thing is, the snow still mining off three. We did... Wow, he's actually managed to sneak the mineral only here. Top left. I actually missed that. But Systrom going to clear the rest of that out. And that's giving snow some breathing room. Finally. Feels like he's not had breathing room this entire game. And now it's just not a lot of defense anywhere. That was... I mean, Snow was just constantly throwing everything out that he had. Feels like this is his only attack force here, is these five vultures wandering around the map. And it looks like that dropship going to regroup, <laughs> going to pull back to maybe get something happening. Some Zealot, At least it's an advantageous battle here, Zealots versus Vultures overall. So getting a favorable trade at the very least. But I don't know if this has been spotted or not. Nine o'clock base, off position. JYJ needs to continue. Yeah, he needs to get something accomplished here. Three Glock base, that gas still hasn't been grabbed. That bottom right has still been mining happily. With that, Snow has launched a 50 supply lead all of a sudden. Also, the upgrades have continued. He's got plus three weapons now and that plus one armor, which is making that massive mech upgrade advantage start to dwindle. Zelt's marching all the way across. Going to meet the four siege tanks and actually might be able to walk right into them here. Yeah, finding them unseaged. Some distance mining now happening. Oh, is that distance gas? So the natural was actually lifted off at some point, so that's actually distance gas mining right there. That's happening. And Snow finally getting aggressive with 134 supply. Not usually what you see at the 30 minute mark. But walking into what's an empty base. So and I, potentially now that he sees that is empty, just gonna withdraw. Dropship with two siege tanks making its way to the north. Vulture scurrying to maybe protect that mineral only. Siege tanks dropping off short to take out that 12 o'clock. Shuttle with some side storm might be necessary to clear that up. Siege tanks exposed to zealots on the low ground. 
Oh, the High Temple actually blocking him, <laughs> getting scooped right back up. So getting some hits, but not accomplishing a lot there. And that's exposed the mineral only top left, and that's going to be a dead base. Some more siege tanks pressing in bottom right. So wanting to get something for losing this base, but that is going to mean JYJ is no longer mining. So he is no longer mining. Snow can afford to lose this base because he's still mining the 12 o'clock in upper left. He's still got a little bit of minerals there. Bottom right, JYJ can't really move into this base, but also these siege tanks are now stranded for JYJ. And a probe walking straight through the lines. Great size storm right there. And that is going to be GG. Snow takes it. I tell you what, JYJ's vulture play is something else. Granted, Snow won this. But for the large portion of this match, this was looking like a JYJ victory and honestly it looked like none other Terran because holy cow. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.